Live Street Stars, Charlie Mo TV, Rook. We're here with the legendary Quilt. Mr. Pookie. What's going down? What's up with it, family? D Time representing Stone Crook Records Rapper in the house. What's up? What's going down, man? I got a I got a little story about this, man. Uh nigga, I was in like I was in uh tenth grade. And I was I was I was tuned in to K one oh four and I heard a song, man. Uh I forgot the name of the song. It was you and K Rock. Uh, uh Damn, what's the name of that bit? Had to be uh Coming Up the Block. Coming up the block. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I and, and it felt good being from the north, man. You know, it felt good being from Dallas, you know, period. You know what I'm saying? Um, explain that feeling, bro. Cause I mean, y'all, yeah, that movement, the crook movement, man, it it, it it stuck with Dallas, and it, it it, you know, everybody. I'm talking about still to this day, you can find somebody jamming. Uh, 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 one of y'all CDs, you know and, what I'm saying? And wanting that CD, man. Yeah, I get sir. hit every day. Somebody asked me that same question, you know what I'm saying? But it was, man, I can't even explain it, fam. I mean, it was, it was, a, uh, it was a dream come true for one. I say that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, just the, I said this before, you know what I'm saying? Just the the, the fact to go back to to my niggas in the hood and show them. That CD with, oh, with yeah. that crook, that, that stony crook symbol on the back of it with stony crook on the back of it. Yeah. That was everything right there. Cause that was, we wasn't even thinking far ahead like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We yeah. we just in the hood chilling, you know what I'm saying? Doing our thing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the, to go back and see them react like they reacted, you know what I'm saying? It was, that was, that was probably the highlight of my career, man. For oh, really, real. man. And that was first time. As soon as I dropped the CD, as soon as they pressed up, I went to the hood and got my niggas a CD. They seen that Stone Crook on the back, man. That was this. Y'all should have seen it. It was it was like a parade in the, in the, yeah, in the hood. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But it was it was it was a fool, man. That was probably the greatest one of the greatest feelings in the world. Oh, uh, really? How old were you around that time? I was 22, 22 years old when I, when I dropped it. Okay, okay. When I dropped it. Man, uh, you're one of the most lyrical lyrical artists in the city, man, and, and I've always said this. What, what were your influences? My influences uh, coming up, man, I'm talking about well, who I thought was the greats. I'm going to say the grace of who I thought was the greats. I'm yeah. talking about. E forty, Spice One. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On even on the East Coast, poor righteous teachers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh A Ball M J G. Them them at the top of my list right there. I'm a, I'm gonna put them number one. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you that. And that's really. after that's after all, you know, Spice One, E forty, y'all know that it came first, but yeah. Man, when I caught them boys, they changed the whole game for me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Man, uh, DM UGK had a party in it, but I ain't. I want a dope nigga, so that yeah. that just that took to me because it sounded good and I like music, you know what I'm saying? And and, and they was they was doing their thing, but I want a dope nigga, so I ain't take to him like that. Yeah. Ball and JG wasn't talking about dope like that. They was talking about just more real life situations, and it was, that's what I related to more. So you know that's why you kind of hear that in in my music, like. You don't hear me talking about selling no dope or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe taking some. But uh, <laughs> you won't hear me talk about hustling like that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's more just real life shit I'm going through, shit you might be going through. Really, it's just shit I'm going through. I'm just putting it out on wax, and it just happened to be some shit everybody go through. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, What's a regular day now for, like, Mr. Pookie now, like? Every day, like what's the regular day you do now? Right now, man, I wake up probably seven o'clock in the morning. Take them kids to school, <laughs> and I got the rest. I got the day I way to three o'clock by myself. So I'm either I can either write some music or or chill. 
You know what I'm saying? So re- really, I'm uh, I'm I'm with my kids now mostly, man. I'm 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 uh, schooling them on their thing. They in football and and doing their thing. So I'm I'm waking up, getting them to school. I'm chilling by myself and during the day, during get them out of school. I might hit the studio, give or take, depending on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't uh, I ain't been in there tough like that in about four years, really since uh. A little tragedy happened to my my mama. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really just been in the studio. I've been more focused on home, family, and shit. So, yeah, uh, I, I I wanted to touch on how do you uh you're a soldier, bro. Uh, I salute you, man. Uh, I'm gonna go back to I forgot what year it was. You know, uh, it was a situation where you had got shot. 2004. 2004, yeah. Uh, how did that play on your, like, impact your life? Man, that's, that's that changed everything, fam. You know what I'm saying? That changed everything, bro, because it was totally unexpected, fam, for real. And I'm a hood nigga, nigga. I'm a street nigga. Yeah. I I know situations. I know you know what I'm saying. I feel like I mean I know how shit play out to know what's up to watch myself. You know what I'm saying. But man, to not see that coming, yeah. fuck me up. Yeah. Fuck me up. Sat me down for a second. You know what I'm saying. And really, just uh, it hit me, man. Hit my ego. Cause nigga, I was like. Feeling like I was invincible, but you know, yeah. but but with that God on my side, invincible, like. Yeah. And then I, I took to that uh that karma shit, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about what goes around, come on, right, nigga. I don't shot, ask ask some, yeah. But I ain't hit nobody. Yeah. I know I ain't hit nobody. Yeah. I know, and they say what goes around, come around. I'm like, shit, what made that shit come around like Man. that? <laughs> nigga, yeah. I ain't hit nobody. I know I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So it just made me think a lot, man, and. And uh, my kids, it was it was a trip because to see my kids, you know, yeah. my 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 oldest daughter, she, she was probably like uh, seven, eight or something like that, and then she ain't want to touch me, cause you know what I'm saying, cause she thinks she gonna hurt me, yeah, cause I'm, you know, it was just it was just crazy, bro. It had me thinking about a lot of stuff, but it set me down, and and uh, really had me looking at what's what's really real, yeah. you know, not to say I wasn't already, but it was. I was on, I wasn't even thinking like that'll happen to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really. We done been all over the United States in every hood you could think possible. And and anything could have happened. I'm talking about, and, and, and that, for it to happen at home. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just crazy, bro. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you had a brother as well, huh? Yeah, yeah. I just lost my brother two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. Uh, my oldest brother. Man. What what is some advice for these uh you know, these youngsters out here that you would like to give to them about the streets? Because you know, a lot of people do rap about it that really don't go through it, you know. And uh, yeah. you know how that is and I mean, I'm I'm gonna tell you like this: if if you rap it about it and you ain't in it, a situation gonna come to you, and 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 it's gonna reveal everything all about you, and that's gonna be for for everybody to see, or you know it might be behind closed. Most most motherfuckers gonna see though, and it's gonna tell it's gonna tell what's up. You been talking. But it's gonna tell what's up about your reactions on how shit happened. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't talk, if you ain't doing it, man, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> you in for a rude awakening. I'm just gonna say that you in for a rude awakening if you think you can talk about it and I ain't living it. Real talk. When uh, people speak about you, they be like Mr. Pookie, and then they, you know what comes with that is Mr. Lucci. I just want to know what y'all relationship is now. Right now, man, we cool. You know what I'm saying? Me and Lucha cool. He doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? I just I let that be like it was. But uh, we 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 cool. You know How you saying? feel about um the, him getting sentenced and having to sit down? Man, man, it was uh it's crazy. I prayed for him. 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just it's fucked up. That whole situation fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I just wish the best for little bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, y'all uh, put out a an anthem for Dallas. Yeah, uh, for those those who are tuned in right now, uh, Crook for Life. <laughs> what year was that? What, what was nine nine? Nine nine man. Nine nine. November twelfth, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, y'all did a lot of work together. Uh, and y'all started a label as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After we left the old uh, record company, we started our own crowd of bio records. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, we had, I had another third party in in uh, hoop. You know what I'm saying? It was like just a cat from the hood that uh, was like my big bro. You know what I'm saying? My brother. He was uh, my brother was real good friends with him. You know what I'm saying? They ran the streets, so. My brother was in jail then, and by the time I left the old record company, we ain't had none. That's who I knew, you know what I'm saying? And he just took up for us and held us up, you know what I'm saying, for a second. So we had started that company with him, so I couldn't just call it Stoner Crook Records like I wanted to because he was involved. So we did Crowd of Bar Records, you know what I'm saying, just to kind of keep everybody with a cool head Yeah, on, on being cool with doing everything, so. Okay. And who are, who are some of the artists that you worked with uh, around the time when you uh, were crowd about first kicked out? Um, shit, man. We st- uh, I was fucking with Fatty Daddy, man. Um, Coco Butter, me and him, I always been cool, man. Um, who else in the city, man? Who else in the city we was fucking? I mean, we pretty much fucked around with everybody. We ain't did music with everybody, though, which is yeah. kind of crazy to think about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because we was always available. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I guess it just never came about. Well, one artist that I do know that y'all did work with uh, was Chiefer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all put together a classic. Yeah. Lord Dallas, where's Dallas class? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, that's that was that's Chief, man. That was that was his song. You know what I'm saying? Thing thing about that was crazy cause uh I heard the beat for Lucha and Chief, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kevin they called me and let me hear the beat, I was like, Ooh, that's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. And uh when I heard it though, see we had he had just introduced us to Chief probably a week or so before that, you know what I'm saying? And he was doing a distribution deal with Chief. So he was going to, you know, dis- distribute Chief shit. That's how we was kind of fucking with each other. So I'm yeah. just bridging everything. Like, well, shit, let's get him on a jam. You know what I'm saying? And that'll, that'll help out even more. What, what you doing, what he doing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just being a team player, you know what I'm saying? So and uh, so I told him I heard him on that song. I said, I heard him on that. And he said, yeah. So I, he was like, get, well, holler at him about it. So I called him, hollered at him, you know what I'm saying? He came over to Lucha Crib, we sat down. He already had the chorus. He already, that was his song. He had already had it. He was like, I got something I think it fit to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he let me hear it. I was like, I like it. Yeah. And so I was like, shit, call that nigga, see if he like it. Called him, he liked it, and shit, we wrote to it, and that was it. That was history, just like that, bam. I read it. Half stepping is the song, right? Correct. Yeah, half stepping. Yeah. Uh, how did it feel? Uh, it's a uh, young artist, Mo Three, Mo remade three. the kind of remade the track. How did that make you feel? Hey, uh, a trip, cause shit, it's like now we at the time when niggas redoing <laughs> my shit. <laughs> and you know, you know, you know the shit like that. I'm like, wow, well, shit. I was honored, really. You know, uh, I seen a few people kind of uh, took to old Facebook and was kind of talking about it, like you know what I'm saying. It was was kind of tripping about it. Like I'm like, shit, y'all, they ain't know what, what page I'm on about it. Like shit, with the the OG I ain't gonna say nothing about it. I ain't, we ain't shouldn't say nothing. I'm like, y'all, y'all on a whole nother level. I'm thinking like, shit, we had an era where somebody is redoing my song. Do you think about that in, in, in the old school day with another artist, you know, that's that's like, 
But they can't even think like that though, cause they ain't artists. But you know, you think about everybody in the game that done, done did that. You know, people redoing their songs now. It's a trip to 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 hear like my mom and them trip off when we redid songs and. It was they old songs, and now I'm like them now. <laughs> Tripping off, lad. That's that old son. And I'm like, oh, he redoing re- my own. That's an honor. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? And, he, you know, he doing his thing. So it was uh, it's, it's an honor, man. I ain't tripping. How you feel about all the, the new artists today, like all the Atlanta rappers? How do you feel that, that movement? Uh, Atlanta? I mean... I don't know, fam. I, you know, I fuck with I fuck with Jeezy, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I fuck with Tip, you know what I'm saying. And, and I don't know. I don't. Uh, the rest of them, I don't know. The rest of them cats. Some some of them cats are alright though, you know. Some of them nice, but I I, I don't. I can't get into a lot of them though. I'ma just say that, you know. So, but I you know I fuck with them niggas. That's good. That's making real gym. Certified music, I'm fucking with him, man. If it sound good, I'm fucking with it. Do you consider yourself a legend? Nope. I, only, only how I even think about it is because the streets said like that. But I got schooled to the to to the uh, the word legend by uh, Yarbrough and Peoples. If anybody know who that is, you know oh, what yeah. I'm saying. I, oh, y'all, yeah. everyone, y'all should know who yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they legends for real. You know, I was over their house and uh, getting them. They was doing a uh, track for me and Lucha on the 10th anniversary album, right? Wow. And uh, their son is who brought us over there. That's 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 how we even get over there. So I didn't even know that was his parents. Yeah. And uh, so we going through some beats and and they they coming there. They playing their beats and and we listening to them and. We jamming and uh, when they came in, you know they didn't really know who we was. So, but they came in and, and kind of you know asking us who we was, and he was like, "You don't know who that is," you know. So he was like, "That's them, them the legends of detail, them the big." They say legends. How long, how, how y'all y'all been into him? Then it was like twelve years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We it was about twelve years in the game then. So and they was like, "No." Nah, to be a legend, you gotta you gotta have twenty years in the game. Yeah, yeah. twenty years, so four more years, I say legend. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Yeah, I am legend for real. <laughs> for real. Well, yeah, the, I mean the streets speak different, man. Cause yeah, I'm, they do though. They do. Yeah, though. Every I'm talking about the streets said it was a classic. Four years after it came out, I couldn't even. I was like, is y'all serious? Yeah, is y'all serious? Really? And I couldn't, I, I was tripping off of that. I couldn't, but to hear them now just over the years and just to see the reaction of people and work everywhere I go and the reaction just off of this, that CD, man, it's it's, it's a fool. Yeah, it's a yeah. fool. Yeah, you definitely laid a, laid a mark, man. Um, being on the radio, uh, we don't really hear a lot of Dallas talent on the radio, but you got the... You got blessed to have that, you know, mm-hmm. that chance. Um, a lot of these, a lot of them niggas did though. Yeah, I heard yeah. a lot of these niggas had, had some songs on the radio, and and more songs than I had on the radio. Yeah. So I'm like, shit, what? <laughs> I was, hey, but 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 what I know is is if you ain't got the right people behind you. If you ain't got the right motherfucker that's doing this, then you ain't, you only gonna get so far. I'm just gonna tell you that period. That's why it is like it is. That's why it's been done like it's been done. That's why ain't nobody did what I did like that. That's it's not like everybody think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like it's not that grind everybody think it is like that. Yeah. That shit is business, yeah. and it's who you know. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I didn't know nobody. My partner C. Pong brought me to the cat that I know that put me on on all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he was in there, fam. Period. Yeah. Shout out to C. Pong. Hey, by the way, that boy there is a 
man say that he he he's, he's the nigga we pick and Stoner Crook. He was the nigga. He was he was our nigga. Yeah, that we pick to do this shit. It wasn't me. I'm gonna tell you that right. Now. <laughs> I, I jumped on when when he called me and, and let me hear a verse, and I was like, I'm gonna write something to it just to fuck around with. You know, I had been writing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just never. Them niggas was on it. Yeah. We was freestyling. Them niggas had songs, sixteen bars, chorus. You know, formatted songs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing about that shit like that. Yeah. I just do rhyme and freestyle. Them niggas had songs, so it, freestyling up, man. Them niggas, hey, C. Pone hats out to that. That's my nigga right there, man. Stoner Crook Records rapper. Uh-huh. That boy is the fool. That's who we picked to do this shit in our hood. Him and K. Rock, man. Oh, uh, really? So, was, who who I was in Stoner Crook? Stoner Crook, man. It was me, C. Pone. Rapping anyway, it was me, C. Pone, Montes. And uh, K Rock, uh, and uh, my other partner Slinky, you know what I'm saying? He kind of started it up with his, with his freestyling, but uh, that was on the rap scene. That was just uh, it was just me, Pawn, K Rock, and Slinky. What are some of the projects that you have put out? We ain't put out nothing. The Rippler, well, K Rock shit is the first thing we dropped. Yeah. Other than that, we was, we was just. Go following this nigga around the hood, around <laughs> North Dallas, tearing everybody ass up <laughs> on the freestyle, man. I'm like, man, y'all had to be there, fam. I'm re- real talk, y'all had to be there to see this nigga t- tear niggas ass up, man. Real talk, oh, <laughs> real man. talk, fam. What uh, what, what what are you working on now? Right now, I'm working on Crookology. Y'all get ready for that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Post up. Poster dropped it last year, but I wasn't really kind of into it like I needed to be, you know what I'm saying? But it's in the works now. It's working. It's going. Y'all get ready for it. Next year, it'll be here probably by March, April. It'll be ready. You know what I'm saying? You know, some, uh, another subject. Um, How you feel about what's going on now today, like the pre- police brutality like in the Crook for Life video, you was running for the cops. So, <laughs> how you feel about that? Going I already on know, man. It's 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 that shit is. Full. I was looking at something a while ago. While we was talking a while ago on that on that shit, man. And they that's 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 fucked up, man. I don't even I don't even know if I should say what I'm feeling, <laughs> really, cause hey, man, it's yeah, only so fun. much. It's only so much that we that that people gonna take like that, man. And we hey. This a whole different generation from back in the day. This a whole you see it now. This shit, man. They better they better do something quick, cause uh they setting that shit up though, man. This shit set up. That shit set up, man. I I feel, I feel it set up. They trying to make some shit go on around here. We ain't falling for that shit like they thought we would would though, but. They killing us, fam, in the streets like it ain't shit. And I'm just gonna stop right there, man. Mm-hmm. The, hey, I know some shit going on, but hey, man, that's that's fucked up. That's fucked up. We ain't gonna take too much though. I know that. Let's talk on a lighter note. I see that you're a Cowboys fan. What about the season, man? man uh, hey, I, we going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and we going to win that bitch. I ain't bullshitting. I'm a diehard Cowboys fan. If you didn't know it, you know it now, nigga. Cowboys can't do no wrong. And even when we do some wrong, nigga, it was some good in it. So, goddamn it, we going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Y'all get ready for it. Mark my words. Goddamn it. <laughs> Weeded. <laughs> I hope the motherfuckers doing something now, cause uh, we watching Washington. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but um, yeah, I, yeah, we winning. I ain't yeah, going, we doing our thing. Already, uh, man. Uh, so, man, give them your information, Pokey, on how they can reach you and uh. How they can get some of your classic work? Hey man, I'm I'm everywhere, man. I'm on every music platform they got out there, everywhere. Anyone you listen to or anything, I'm on there. Just type my name up, and you gonna catch me. 
on on the internet or anywhere. My Facebook, type my name up, Mr. Pookie, you gonna catch me, it's gonna come up somewhere. Catch my uh my, my Twitter is real Mr. Pookie. Instagram real Mr. Pookie. Just type my name up, you gonna find me everywhere, man. And my music, all the old music, new music, it's on iTunes, it's on every music platform out there. So go get that shit. Go listen to that shit. I still get paid for that. Holla at your boy, man. <laughs> you know, but it's everywhere, man. Y'all go check it out. Anywhere you get your music from, it's on there. Man, we definitely, definitely appreciate you coming out. Uh, oh, yeah, real talk. Any, any more shout outs you want to give? And shout out to the hood, man. Stoner Crook, 13030 idea, you know, representative. Shout out to my nigga C. Pong, man. That's my nigga that inspired me all the way to, to, to rap. You know what I'm saying? To rap. You know what I'm saying? A Ball and MJG and them is, is, is the niggas I look up to as like the some of the greatest in this, but that nigga there, man. Pong, come over here, man. Pong. Come over here, my nigga. <laughs> this nigga here, yeah. man, inspired me to put that shit down on wax like that, man. Real talk, man. Real talk. This nigga here, C Pong. Motherfucking me, fool, man. Let me holler at C Pong real quick, man. Hey, hey, uh. What to do? Tell them how they can reach you, brother. Man, you uh, pretty much just hit me up on Facebook. Michael C. Pong, you know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to get my little shit established for it, like media shit. So, yeah. you know, right now shit just popping in Facebook or catch me at a corner store, get some guards and shit. Uh, really, hey, man, good. hey, I want to shout you out. That, that jam you got uh, with J Juice and Young Bleed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I spread my wing. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yeah, hey, yeah. one time, man, yeah, real that. life street stars, Mr. Pookie, C. Pong.